Hi, this is Laura from Outback Motor Tech, and we are stoked to present our BMW R1300GS lower crash bars. So I'm gonna run you through quickly the specs. Essentially, they're almost identical with our 1200 and 1250GS crash bars, lower crash bars, almost identical. Not much has really changed. The specs are the same. So just FYI, these crash bars, they are only plastic. They are 3D printed for fitment purposes, just to give you an idea how they're gonna look. And in terms of specs, like I said, it's the same as with the previous generation crash bars we manufacture. 27 millimeter diameter tubing, two millimeter wall thickness. These steel plates here, they are gonna be four millimeters thick. And this plate right here is what offers protection for the valve cover, which is, this is the most exposed part of the the engine this is what touches the ground first though this is what we want to protect the most the other brackets these are five millimeters thick five millimeters thick up front here too and and up top as well and this one back here it's four millimeters thick what's different from the 1250 gs lower crash bars from us is this point right up here because this flat bar replaces the previously featured tubing style. So we, on the 1200, 1250GS, we had a tube that goes into this hollow part of the frame, and that's what the tubing is welded on. Now, the through bolt on the 1300GS is almost impossible to remove, and this comes from BMW technicians who have worked on the bike. So now the through bolt is a pain to remove it, it, apparently you need to apply heat to get the cement or to get the glue to release. We didn't want our customers to go through that sort of hassle. So we came up with this flat bar. It's bolted here. So it's one mounting point and there's nowhere else to put a second mounting point. So our solution is this flat bar here, it's curved at the bottom. Well, it's like a hook, like an L-shaped piece. On the back side, there's gonna be a thick rubber pad. Okay, so this is experimental. We're gonna do our drop test as always to tell us if this is the right solution, but this is what we have so far. So the skip plate is coming. That's gonna be presented in the next couple of weeks. The upper crash bar is the same thing. We are very close to finishing both, but for now, we're excited to present the lower crash bars. And I'm gonna walk around so you can see the lower crash bars from different angles. So thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned for the next update. And in the meantime, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us via email, info at outbackmonitor.com or call 877-931-3636 or just leave a comment below. Thank you very much.